stay slow, family, at this time. I had to do a very important video at this at this hour to point things um, out because some people are um, asking questions. Why did the Hebrew eat their children? I'm going to show you from the words of Yah why the Hebrews went so low and sunk so low and did all the sins they done because of the curses, because they broke the five laws. So that's the simple explanation. So I'm going to read it to prove to you, to put all of these things out, why the chosen people of Yah at one time went so low. They lost so much when Abiyah put the curses on them because they broke Abiyah everlasting covenant. And these was, this was part of the agreement for the children of Israel, Yah, to obey Abiyah laws. But he told them if they don't obey Abiyah, all these curses are going to come upon them. And that was part of the curses, brothers and sisters. And that's the reason why, and I'm, I'm going to go over the uh, part of the covenant with you, that anybody answer, answer, asking this question would know why. And those who don't know why and never knew anything about your history, this was part of our history of our ancestors that did these things, brothers and sisters. Yes, our people sto stooped so low and did these things like, all the other nations done, brothers. So neither did our Yah try to prevent us from encountering. But because rebellion, the stubbornness heart of our ancestors, this is what they did. Some of them, not all, but many of them did these things. I'm going to read it. Right here. It's found in Deuteronomy chapter 28, dealing with the curses, the blessings and the curses. So here it goes right here. Starting with verse 20, it says, For Yah himself will send his personal curses upon you, and you will be confused. See, the confusion of mind, not in the right state of mind. That's why they done it, because the curses, they, they came out of their mind. They lost their sense. Let's read it. If personal curses upon you, and you will be confused and a failure in everything you do until at last you are destroyed because of the sin of your because of the sin of forsaking him. And he will send diseases among you until you are destroyed and from the face of the land which you are about to enter and possess. And he will send war and he will blight your crops covering them with mildew and all of these devastations shall pursue you until you perish. So let's continue over and go over to in the same chapter of Deuteronomy 28, verse 52, to read to 57. The nation that will lay siege to your cities and knock down your high places, which is your high walls, excuse me, the walls you will trust to protect you, you will even eat the flesh of your own sons and daughters in the terrible days of siege that lie ahead. The most tender-hearted man among you will be utterly callous towards his own brother and his beloved wife and his children who are his beloved, excuse me, still alive, excuse me. And he will refuse to give them a share of the flesh he is devouring, the flesh of his own children because he is starving in the midst of the siege of your cities. Then the most tender, delicate woman 
among you, the one who would not so much as touch her feet to the ground, will refuse to share with her beloved husband, son, and daughter, and she will hide from them the afterbirth and will hide from them the afterbirth, excuse me, and the new baby she has born so that she herself can eat them. So terrible will be the hunger during the siege and awful distress caused by your enemies at your gates. These are the words of y'all, brothers and sisters. There you go, right there. Sums it up wide. And I let this be known to the earth and the, and the world, and all those who were trying to make mockery, make fun. See, this is part, that's part of the curse. And that's why I said we ain't in a position to talk about no other nation, brothers and sisters, because our family, this go out to the whole nation of, of Yezreel, y'all, the northern and southern tribe. Yes, because I hear brothers talking about other nations, what they've done, but you got, we got, to, you got to know your own history. Yes, we stooped down so low, our ancestors did, and did so many defiled, wicked things, just like any other nation. Everything I've y'all said, he said, don't do these things. He told them, don't mingle with these people of the other nations and become like them. And that's exactly what we did. And when all y'all broke the curses upon us, brothers and sisters, it got so bad. Yes, our people stooped so low, were so blinded, so confused, they ate their own children. And it's that day in the records, brothers and sisters. And that's why people bring these things up, and, and, and they confront you with these questions. Some people don't know how to answer them because they don't know that our ancestors stooped so low. But that's all part of the curses. It's in the books. It's in the writing for anybody to go there and read these things for themselves concerning our history and all the low down things our people have done. Yes. That's why I said we became one of the most wickedest nations, just like all the other nations. And that's why he said we got to repent. We got to turn back him and for, for, forsake our ways that the curses may be removed far from us. That's why we got so many um, molesters, child molesters in our own nation, our own family. And that's why we got so many people that go to jail, so many of our own people go to jail and do the, all of these defiled things in the jail houses. Yes, man with man, woman with woman. Just, all that is curses, brothers. So we got so we got a wicked nation of Hebrew 